All right, Steve from SD Hooligan. Earlier in the week, we did a kayak review. Now I'm gonna show you some of the gear I bring out there on all these like half day boats and stuff like that, all right? Some rod and reel setups, and I'm gonna show you everything that's in my tackle box for any time I go on a half day boat to a day and a half boat. After a day and a half boat, basically it just gear gets a little upgraded a little bit. I'll do a video on that in the future. So I'm gonna kind of go over everything that's in my tackle box. It'll be a little bit different of a video. It's gonna be a lot slower pace, longer, but pretty detailed on every single thing that's in my tackle box. This will cover kind of most local deep sea fishing trips in San Diego. Um, once you start getting about, you know, 30, 40 miles out, you got to up some bump some stuff up. But let me go over all this stuff. Now, remember, these are all preferences. Everyone has their own different preferences on what they use, different colored jigs, different different style rods, different brands. You know, these are just some of the brands that I use. Those are all my preferences. So you can go ahead and sit there and say, oh, these don't work. Man, let's go out fishing and let's see if they work. Come on, man. That's, that's what fishing's all about. Anyways. While she goes and has fun with that. Uh, let me show you some of the stuff that I use. And uh, like I said, we'll uh, we'll kind of go over everything. It's going to be a slower video, but please watch till the end, you know. Be a lot of insight on this stuff, all right? boop -ah! So let me go get this set up so it looks like it's already ready for you guys. You know how it goes when you do the YouTube cuts. Watch, I'm going to cut right here. And then... <laughs> that tells you. It's easy like that. So I'm going to go over some of this gear that I use out here in San Diego. You know, it's a... Uh, San Diego fishing's really localized. Kind of one of the few places that fishes a certain way out here. So I'm gonna show you the rods and reels, and then I'm gonna show you just basic, uh, good terminal tackle to carry. So here's my four go-to setups for fishing anything inshore in Southern California, from half-day boats all the way up to probably day and a half boats. All right, let me show you. Let me show you this real quick. We're gonna start with my lightest setup to my heaviest setup. This is my setup number one. All right, I'm my lines all messed up, man. I'm sorry. So this is my first setup that I like to use out there. This is great on the kelp patties. So what you got here is just a basic old saber rod. Here is the stats. So I would say it's about a medium seven foot, 10 to 25 pound line test. Let me show you a little bit of that, that jiggle, the jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Bop, 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 bop. Now you see, it's a little, it's, it's a little flexible. It's a little flexible. And what I got is I got a Daiwa 20X on this one, and that's loaded with 65 pound braid, it's straight braid. This is more of my rock fishing setup or swim bait setup. So it just works out for both. It's flexible enough to throw even lighter swim baits, even like half ounce lead heads, you can throw with that pretty easy. Next setup, a little bigger guy, all right. Now this is a custom rod. Now this rod's also about seven feet. A little bit stiffer tip, all right. A little bit more of a medium heavy action. If I had to estimate what the what the line test on this, I'd probably say you're right in that 15 to 30 range. Um, what I actually have on here though is 40. And the reason I have 40 is right now down here, they're patty hopping. And some of these patties are carrying 20 pound yellowtail. They're also carrying up to 80 pound bluefin and they're spotting 120 pound bluefin. So I put on 40 pound because I want a little bit more oomph in case I do hook into a bluefin that's a little bit bigger than I thought. Now on this route, I got a Daiwa Sea Line 40X. Now I really like these Daiwa Sea Lines. The reason I do, they're only about 110, 120, 130 dollars. I think this one's about 150 when you get up to the 40 or 50 X. It's a great reel for casting. The drag system's pretty, pretty nice on it. The reel's pretty nice, man. These, uh, these Daiwas, they cast super far. Um, I'm barely putting any pressure on it. And you have lines hitting up against it and these things will just spin forever. So in my opinion, they're one of the best casting reels for this area. And sometimes down here, it's really irritating when you see fish blowing up 100 yards out and you can only cast 50 yards. Whoever's going to cast 100 yards or whoever on that boat can cast 100 yards will get those fish. You'll be sitting there casting out, be like, oh, I'm just trying to catch a fish and then getting ran around the boat by these other guys that cast 100 yards and you're not catching fish. They win the jackpot, they go home. But yeah, you won't be that guy. You want to be the guy that cast 100 yards. So, like I said, die with sea lines, man. It's been forever. They're great. But the drags on these are very smooth drags. And that's why I like them. They're tried and true. This reel here is about 10 years old. Change out the bearings and drags like twice on it. Great. It's, a, it's, it's just, they're just beefy reels. The other thing is, fishing out here, it's it's a personal preference, but lever wind reels, if you have that actual, that worm drag lever wind on it, it kind of inhibits your casting. And sometimes you can hook into fish out here that are just so powerful that they'll just blow that right off your rod. I've seen multiple level wind reels. A guy is going rock fishing, hooks into a 400 pound black sea bass, and you just watch that level wind just go right off. So I use non-level winds, it's my preference. But most guys out here use non-level wine reels, so it's up to you though. You do whatever the hell you want to do. Star drag on these guys. Pretty pretty basic. Pretty basic. Next setup. A little bit bigger now. What you got here? It's a Calstar Custom 9 foot blank, 1025 rod. And what I got here is just an old pen jig master. Check that out. Now that's a great reel right there. That's a beauty. And these old pen jig masters, if you could find these guys. 
especially the 500 series, one of the best jig stick throwing reels I've ever seen. And that leads me into what this rod is. This is my smaller jig stick. Now I'll get into what those jigs are in the next second. Right. Now I'll get into what those jigs are in the next portion of this video. But this is just your basic jig stick. What it is, it's a lighter jig stick. I use this for the kelp beds. So when you're catching those yellowtail right off of La Jolla that are in that 10, 12, 15, maybe 20 pound range, this lighter jig stick makes it a lot more fun. All right, that's just my opinion, once again. And with this jig stick, I could throw it a lot further. I, I, could, I, could, I could huck a jig at 100 yards with this jig stick here. That's why I like it. I've got, I've got 50 pound mono on here, once again. I ain't breaking off fish, and I especially hate losing jigs. So if at all cost I can, I, I try to use the heaviest line where I could still catch fish before they start getting line shy on me. So 50 pound on this guy, I just go straight mono. I'm not a big braid guy unless it's four. I'm gonna need a lot more torque and a much smaller package, which is where it leads me to my big dog. This is the heaviest rod I carry. What you got here, you got a big old seeker pinhead. You got nine foot, three inches, 25 by 40 pound test. This is my big dog jig stick. What I got here, this is my favorite reel. So I got the Avid LX reel. It's got the mag magic cast on it. Now you don't need this. It's, it's a magnet system that's supposed to help control the backlash on your rod and reel if you can't cast. And you know what? Just learn how to cast. It's the best thing to do. Don't try to mess around with that. On this guy, I got that rainbow road, but on this stuff, I got 65 pound braid again, straight braid. I'd run straight braid on this. Um, the reason I do is because once again, I'm throwing this when we're going patty hopping and you could potentially hook into an 80 plus pound bluefin. So I run straight braid. I run 65 pound test. If they're line shy on that trip, I carry fluorocarbon that I'll run a fluorocarbon leader on this. You'll be good to go. This guy has a lever drag. What a lever drag is instead of the star drag, you've got two setups. So you could put it in bait mode, which is free spool almost. Bait can pull line out, but it puts just enough torque on it to backlash. And then next thing you know, you got that fish going. And then you got a fish. I like the lever drag for this particular type of rod for my jig stick, just because of the fact that you can hook into some heavy duty fish with this particular reel, this Avid. It has a huge drag rating on it. You can torque the heck out of these fish. Um, I don't even know what the drag rating is on this, but I tell you what, when you pin this guy down and you crank on that, man, it's over if you need extra. So let's say, let's say you can do a yellowtail seal takes you. You have another little spot here. See where it says full? You can then push this from the strike, which is normal fighting, all the way up to full. It's a lot harder to do, but now you can go ahead and torque that fish out of that seal's mouth and hope for the best. Now, when it comes to tackle, people have always asked me when I go on a boat about this tackle box here. What this is, this was from a garage sale, and I love this tackle box. It does everything I need it to do. Someone had a cool little wooden box. I just put stickers all over it because that's, that's, that's what I do. So I'll show you what I got. So we'll kind of go over some basic stuff. You can bring it on these boats and uh, it'll make you catch some fish. I like beer and I like this place right here. You got the moon again. There you go. Here's a tackle box. That, that, hey, that shouldn't be in there. What the hell are you doing? Let's see what we got in here. So, remember, this is what I bring out every time I go out. All right. Things you absolutely need. You need hooks. Now, these are these are basic hooks off Amazon. You can go ahead out there and buy the Gamakatsu hooks and all the owner hooks. The owner hooks are great. You want to go ahead and spend $2 a hook, you go ahead and be my guest. I'm telling you right now, all you need is a hook that's sharp. Just needs to poke you. When that fish hits, you're gonna rip this thing through its face anyway with your big old rod, so don't worry about it. These hooks here go from two aught to five aught. I believe there's two four aught. They're basic hooks. They they hook. They will hook. Trust me. They hurt too. I got these giant freaking mustad demon hooks. They're ten aught mustad demon hooks. I use these for lingcod, which is why you also see this giant one pound weight in there. This plus this plus a big old live mackerel equals a big lingcod. Got big old jig heads for swim baits which will lead me to swim baits. I got a decent amount of swim baits in here. These are FT swim baits. They work great. Kelp beds are, my fingernails are dirty. Ew, gross. Look like a hooligan. Hey, come on, clean that, clean that up right there. Clean that up. I don't advise doing this at home. All right, that's much cleaner. Just basic JT swim baits. So I got those there. Got some lead heads. I wish I knew the size. I'm really bad at all this technical stuff. I literally will just go out there and buy different weights and different sizes, different stuff. These are old. I really got to update <laughs> update these guys. 
These grubs are particularly for link cod and for halibut. I've caught a couple halibut off these guys. They're pretty sick. I always tip them with a little bit of squid and I drop them down and just, you know, wom, 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 and it, they, they work amazing. I just keep these in here because it's kind of my good luck thing. But let me take you guys to the true, the true gold of Southern California fishing. I was telling you about jigs. Those are the jigs I'm talking about. So what you got here is you got a Taddy 45 surface iron. This color especially, great for yellowtail, love that. But that's, if you notice, that's mainly what I got in this box. I got some feathers here. Sometimes I'll troll out here for tuna, but uh, we'll go over more of these jigs. I'll show you guys some of these. All right, those are the jigs we use. You got surface irons that work their way down. These are all yo-yo jig. I can tell the difference, but let me, let me go over this with you real quick. Surface irons. How you work these, you cast them out as far as you can, cast them out right along kelp heads, stuff like that. As they come in, what they do is they sweep. They go whoosh, 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 whoosh. And that's enough to make those fish just ah, and bite the hell out of them. All they are is just aluminum. They're super light. I think these are about two and a half ounces, but that's your surface iron. What you got here, this is a Taddy 45, very common surface iron down here. Um, and we'll go, uh, we'll kind of go over these. So let's start with the yo-yo jigs. All right, you got these yo-yo for salas. Salas are great jigs. <laughs> these are yo-ho-hos. Um, I don't know where I got those, but I actually really like these two jigs a lot. And so then you go Sumo Juniors. These are pretty heavy. You got the shiny ones, Bonita love these. I, I use the shiny ones for Bonita, sometimes Barracuda. That guy is a Sumo, but he's, he's done for. Um, I don't know what that is. I got an RB6. I've honestly probably never used that. Uh, then you got the Salas 6Xs. Ow! They do hook. Yeah. You got the Salas 6Xs. Uh, more Salas 6Xs. And you got a Sumo 6. You got this little guy. Every kayak fisherman knows about this. You want to go out there and catch mackerel for your bait, man, but you want big mackerel. Woo! Get yourself a little crocodile. These things work great for mackerel. And Bonita, too, in all honesty. You go ahead and talk all the crap you want, but those things are bomb. You got a... Uh, this is SS Candyman. Now you're probably asking why these things are so messed up. That's fish. Like those are fish. That's Barracuda, um, Yellowtail. The, this color here, these colors here are great for Yellowtail. I don't know what you want to call them, um, but they're, they're whatever. We always called this one Bird, but it's missing half the paint so you can't even see it anymore. These have caught a lot of fish. The ones on the right here, these have uh, been tore up pretty hard by fish. Mostly Bonita and Barracuda will, will gouge into the paint. Yellowtail kind of don't, they don't they have softer teeth. But you know, barracuda, they bite your ass. Um, so these are Taddy 45s surface irons. It's pretty common down here. Taddy makes a great surface iron. Once again, more Taddy 45s, newer ones. This is one that hasn't been used, but yeah, it's got a white bottom on it. Um, oh, that's a good one there. And then this guy, I'm a big dog. I love this guy, man. I don't know who makes it. I'm pretty sure it's a candy bar um because it kind of has the same candy bar shape which is what these are here these are candy bar jigs these in my opinion are the best jigs they swim the best if you can find any of these candy bars man you buy them any chance you get even if they're 20 bucks a piece almost all of these jigs here run anywhere between 10 and 20 dollars a piece that's why i use such heavy line because this collection here is almost 400 dollars worth of jig oh that's still got that and you got these guys up here these are big dogs this is a Super Salas 7X. They're big. They're, they're seven inches long, but they, they work great. This is also a surface iron. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. That's all they do. Same thing here. This one's caught a lot of fish. This one's been beat to heck, but it's another big old uh, Salas 7X. Same thing with this guy. Two same ones, but those are your surface irons. And you always want to carry a crocodile with you, man. Come on. Everyone knows that. You can't fish without these things. Ouch. So I hope you all liked that video. No, it was kind of slow and drawn out, but anything that I didn't cover that you guys want to see in more detail, go ahead and put in the comments down below. So that's about it. And hopefully I covered some things for you. You know, I didn't go in super detail on how to use every single lure and things like that. There are going to be more videos in the future that kind of go over a little bit more in depth on how I use each individual lure. So if you got all the way to the end and you actually want to see something funny and a little bit more entertaining, click that video right there. That one's pretty funny. I think so, at least. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Until next time, love piece of chicken grease. Bye-bye.